welcome to December daily day 16 I am once again using breeze prompts from hashtag create December 2018 and today's prompt is hope so here I'm starting off a bit different I have been making some paperclip embellishments and I figured why don't I just make another one um, for hope as well since I was still I, was, I had everything out for it and if you want a complete tutorial of how to make the base for this I will put the link down below um, because this video already was very long and um, yeah so that's something I don't have to show you because you can see it somewhere else and here I'm just showing you some of the ones that I've done um, off camera just for various journals and I'm so happy with them so I wanted to make this Christmas one as well. So I have the base ready, which is basically just um, two, um, two tabs, tabs, my gosh, two tags that I punched out. And I put a large paper clip in the middle and um, put some hot glue to um, secure them all together. And then just ink the edges that's all I did and uh, so now I'm just making a background with various uh, paper and here I am cutting a cheesecloth that I am then just fraying a bit and the hope um, you probably saw I just stamped with my trusty recollections clickable clickable alpha stamps so I'm just gonna glue that on top of each other to just create an interesting background and here I found some um, stamps like postage stamp stickers uh, with Christmas themes so there were two of these th and I got these locally sorry I can't I can't give you a link or anything for those so I'm going to just show you two of these because those two out of the four were my favorite. And uh, they have six different motifs in each pack and then they repeat. So I think there's 12. Yeah, I think there's 12 in each um, little box. So I have those and then the other box. And of course I like both of these because they are more vintage than the other ones. If you want to see the other ones as well, let me know. I can show them in another video. So that's the other six. Also cute. So that was a really nice find. So here I then decide to go with this little white um, piece dove, looks like. It says Merry Christmas on there as well. I'll give you a close up in a moment once I've put it together. So I'm just gluing the background down now and I just zoomed in a little bit more for you because everything is so small. So I'm just gluing that down and I'm just going to glue, oh first of course I'm going to ink the edges of that little stamp, just going to put that down and then add the hope to it as well and that's it, that's the little embellishment and I love that you can just put it anywhere basically with this little clip. Okay, moving on, I got out my Sizzix die cut machine and I wanted to run it through uh, with this um, die cut to create a belly band. Of course, if you don't have a die cut machine, you could just um, cut out um, you know, just, just uh, cut out a square, or not a square, like a rectangle um, from a scrapbook paper or cardstock. Doesn't have to be this fancy. And since it was too wide, I just cut one of those circle 
flower things off. I can use that in something else. And I am, of course, inking the edges. And I wanted to use it um, horizontally instead of vertically this time. Okay, so now, <laughs> so this spread is one of those that took forever because I have so many different elements going on. And um, yeah, at this point I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I do, the only idea that I have is that I wanted to do a, a um, fold out tag to put in the belly band. I did not know what I was going to put on that belly, be <laughs> belly band. And I also didn't know what I was going to write in that belly, belly band. <laughs> um, and I also didn't know what I was going to do on the other side of the spread. So I am just really taking tiny steps here, which is probably why it took me forever for this video. And that's why it's quite long because it's just too many things going on. And um, I'm going to have to make the next ones a little more simpler because this is just taking too much time. And I still have some presents to prepare for, for the office and I need to do two more videos today. I don't know how I'm going to do it all. It's already evening. So let's see how that goes. So I'm just cutting down some English book pages to make a nice background for this page. See, it's my own fault. I think for um, next year's December daily, and I do think I want to do it again because I'm really, really, really enjoying it. And um, I... I am really looking forward to have the finished book uh, or journal. <laughs> um, I really think for next year's um, December Daily I will be much better prepared. I will have hopefully some backgrounds done. I will have maybe some embellishments done. I don't know. We'll see. But that is my vision currently because I'm seeing um, how much time it's costing me. But at least this way you get to see it all from scratch, from zero. So I hope that you're enjoying enjoying this um, and that it's not tedious for you to watch me do everything from scratch. So this is the, supposed to be the tag and I am just folding it in the middle and just checking if the width will work. So now I'm just straightening the edges because, of course, I didn't fold straight. And now I'm going to round the edges so it looks a little more like a little booklet, I guess. It's amazing how, how different that looks once you got the corners rounded and the sides um, inked. It has a whole different and and more finished look what a difference it makes so now I was thinking okay what do I put in the front I really like this red ribbon but then again it was too much for me it was way too dominant so I decided to then just cut out that Christmas tree um, but first I wanted to make another background with again some more of those same book pages because it was just too too blank in the front and I actually could have rounded those edges as well but I think I just kind of forgot but it was I'm fine with it like this so then I wanted to cut it out to look more kind of like a banner so I just cut that bottom And I thought that was much better than having the whole ribbon there. You can be the Okay, I still didn't have any idea what to write on the inside, but 
this was working well so it would fit inside so that was all good and I have my little hope clip there and then I decided then I realized I have to add the date somehow the 16th so I decided to just um, punch out a circle ink it and stamp the number on that for the tag So now I was thinking about what could I do on the left hand side and I decided to go for another book page background. And at this point I, I knew I was going to add some tea stained paper to the front where I thought I would maybe stamp some Christmas themed something because I didn't want to write more because that's what the tag was for Okay, so I picked out this tag that I then stamped on this um, tea stained paper. And I really love him. These stamps are, I believe, AliExpress from one of my earlier hauls. Really nice. And then I wanted to add something on the bottom, so I found this um, sentiment saying peace on earth. and I. And I think it says winter wonderland, winter wonderland, warmest wishes winter wonderland, right. And um, since it said peace on earth, I then had the idea um, for my theme for what I was going to write in that little tag. But first I just cut this down to size and I just took it to my sewing machine off camera just because I wanted to add a little more texture. And then I just ink that up and stick that down. And then for the for the theme, then for this piece on earth, I thought that fit so nicely with the hope and the peace dove that I decided to look up peace, uh, hope for peace on earth. And I came across a song from George Harrison, whom honestly I did not know before. And he has a song called Peace on Earth. Um, from 1991 and I will link that below too. It's actually quite a cute song. So I'm just writing down the lyrics for that and um, Then on the right hand side since the lyrics weren't really long enough because they kept repeating themselves um, I added another stag a smaller one just to keep with the stay with the theme and Since it still looked too bare to me. I decided to also add this little bow and a like some twigs on the bottom. Just trying to place that correctly. And then I thought, okay, it's kind of off balance because now I needed something on the top as well. So on top, I just put um, Merry and Bright. And by the way, for this whole spread, I'm only using the uh, Vintage Photo Distress Oxide, as I often do. It works really well, both for inking edges and stamping, so it's awesome. And there is the finished result. So thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you got some inspiration for your own spreads. Have a wonderful day. Bye!